Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to SW Box. We have Neil, our resident Apple Ninja here, who is going to uh, to take us through some some pretty exciting things. What are you doing today, Neil? Today we're going to change a battery on the iPad One. Okay. Um, the iPad. Basically, we're going to change the battery in the battery tray because that's how we set it as a unit. Uh, we need a few tools for it. We need a solder paste scraper. I generally have some tweezers so they're quite helpful. Uh, lifting tools and a T3 tool to undo everything with. Okay, And I bought some spare clips for the actual screen because basically when you take it off there's a good chance you're going to break some purely because of the way that they sit under the lip of the actual uh, bottom casing. Now it does take a little bit of time and it's not the easiest things to do to begin with but what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do it so that if you do have problems then you can repair your own iPad and you're going to save yourself a lot of money and everything that you see here you can find at swbox.com so right. let's make a start okay. um, actually before you go I'm just going to zoom in here yep. to the actual tools just because I'm assuming that you know most of the people uh, most of our fans and customers at home aren't as uh, that aren't as savvy as yourself in regards to so all these are available at SW Box. Yeah, in repair kits and that sort of thing. Okay, this is probably the best tool you're going to have to begin with. Okay, I've, I have tried using these plastic lifting tools and I didn't get on with them. I couldn't actually get into the iPad one with them, so I used this solder scraper and that seemed to get in there quite nicely. Kind of looks like a scalpel. Yeah, almost. He's relatively sharp but it's the only way to break the seal basically because they're sealed quite nicely obviously so you, you know they're splash proof and that sort of thing okay so it does take a little bit of brute force if you like and you will snap a few of these clips but literally they all screw in so it's no problem if you snap them they're like two dollars and you can get them from us okay. so you know it's no big deal to break a couple of clips I, I guess what you're trying to tell the people at home is that um, you know, this isn't for somebody's grandmother who has no technical sense. So it's a fine balance. I mean, it's not yeah, the easiest can thing. Do it. People can do it. They just need to set themselves enough time and a, and a little bit of perseverance with it. Okay, so we'll have a go. Uh, you'll be able to see from the video that it's not as easy as what people believe it is. But if I can do it, anyone can do it. So uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to make a start. And all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to try and ease this down the sides, okay? And as you can see, it doesn't always come. So and it's uh, lifting up, okay? But all you want to do is just keep working all the way around until you can get it up a little bit. So okay? it kind of looks like you're prying it open. Yeah, literally. Because it sits in the lip, you'll see once I've got the actual screen out, the lip on the actual bottom plate. Okay. Okay. So now I've got the corner out. It's not too bad. As, again, I broke one of the little plates. So as you can see, it's going to happen because they sit right under the lip. There's nothing you can do. I see. Okay. okay. And I'm literally just sort of working my way around. So for our audience members, if you break it, don't feel so bad about it. Just maybe order a couple extra more. Um, yeah. Just a word about those watching this video. Normally, uh, you know, I, I'm into making professional videos I'd have this up on a tripod but since this is one of those how to replace videos I really need to be up close and personal with Neil here as he's doing things so I apologize for the camera shake but it's really necessary so that you can get a feel for what he's doing and uh, you know so for example Neil if 100% uh, was full force you know how much force are you using to, to lift this or when or I first it? done it because I've because broken the seal uh, it's very easy but like I say, these little tags, they do snap very easily. And when I first done it, it did take me about 20 minutes to break the seal around the outside. And you just have to persevere with it. The okay. chances of breaking your screen is very unlikely because all you're doing is there's just this rubber seal. And it actually tucks under the lip here on the okay, bottom plate. I don't know if you can see that at all. But there is a lip there. Do you want? Ah, uh, yes, okay. Yeah, so basically they've tucked this seal in around the outside under there, and you've got to break into it. And that's why I didn't actually get on with these, because they're just too weak. 
to do it, you do need something a bit more sort of aggressive. So but you're saying like there, there's an, an overhang that it tucks into? Yes, it's just like a little lip. Okay. And that's where all of these little clips sit into. And to literally, because they're so flimsy, I you'll see, see when I take the actual screen off, that um, I'll show you where they go anyway, and they're easy to replace. Okay. Okay, now what you want to do is you only want to lift this about an inch, because... Okay. Oh, come on your this side. part is difficult, okay? But you've got a plug there and a plug here that you must take off before you try and do anything else with the screen. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide my spatula into there and just peen that off. It only clips on. This one's a little bit more difficult. It's got two little lips. So it's going to be difficult to actually show you. So what we do is we show you once I've actually undone it, and then you can see what I mean. Okay. okay? But all there is is there's two little plates that you've got to lift up. I'm going to come around on the other side just so yeah, I can. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see it. No. You'll listen to I've done it, and then we'll show you. Okay. Okay. And uh, what's the difficulty here? Are, is it adhesive or is it? No. No, not at the moment. Okay, so that, now you can just lay your screen down there, and it, it, you can't affect it, but what I've done is there's two little trays, okay, that this sits into. You slide it in, and then you have to flick over the latch again, okay? So, so when you said this sits into that, that sits into Yeah, that there. little plug sits into there, there and there, okay? And to lock it into place, there's like a little latch that you have to knock back over on both sides. Okay, so once you've done that, then you need to remove this plug here. And this one is really, really simple. Literally, you just pull the latch over, okay, and wiggle it out. Uh, now, before we go on, it's not like there wasn't a user manual to show you how to do this, Neil, right? I mean, I, I guess... No, I just, just started looking at it slowly and just sort of took my time with it. Just try not to panic and, you know, you will right. get there, okay? Okay. So, right, there's, a, there's obviously the screen and everything off. There's no, literally, it's just stuck down with these little tags, like I said, and as you can see, because they sit under the bevel, or the lip, if you like, when you lift it up, nine times out of ten, you're going to snap them. I think they're half designed to snap. So all we do is, once we're finished, is we just undo the screws and put new ones on, and then we push oh, it back I mean, down. That, that's the, no yeah, problem. No. Okay? Right. Literally, the next thing I think we do is we take the charging port off. So we don't need any of that anymore. We need our T3 tool screw. Okay, you've got three, five screws to take out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we just start. And they are quite small, but all I'm going to do is wind them out. Okay, five screws. Okay, and we put them somewhere out of the way. Now generally, whatever I take off, I always put the screws with it, so that you never lose them, or well, hopefully. Good rule of thumb. Okay. So, so far what you've done, the risk of actual financial loss is relatively small. I mean, we're looking at clips that can be replaced. It's not like that there's any... Uh, possibility of you screwing the, the CPU or no, memory or anything like that? No, you've unplugged most of it now, you know, there's, there's not a lot that can go wrong. The biggest danger is when you first start doing it, is obviously do, damaging the, the actual screen, but you can, you can replace that anyway if, if, you know, if you've actually damaged it, but to be fair, I was quite aggressive with it in the end, and all I've done was break some clips, so for two dollars and if you can fix your iPad for like twenty dollars instead of sending it to Apple or a repair centre mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. you're in a much better situation anyway. And it's not only the the, uh, the cost, it's the waiting the four to six weeks or however long yeah. it takes for them yeah. to... Exactly that. Okay. So, right, what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up. Now there's two plugs on this, okay? Okay, let me get a close up. So all you're going to have to do is, from that point there, just flip it straight over. Now there's a plastic clip here, okay? I'm just going to peel that off. I know you can't see it because it's clear, so all I'm going to, I'll show you afterwards, okay? That's all it is, is a little plastic clip protecting that, okay? Now there's two little sockets that you've got to remove. It's up to you how you do it. You don't have to be that gentle with these. 
Okay, you can do it with your nails, like so, and like so. And that is your charging port out of the way. So we put that with all of the screws we took out of that. Charging port, okay. 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 Uh, next, we can take out the um, speaker system. So you've got another two screws. All of it is really, really simple. Okay, so there's one here. So just to remind everybody, you know, uh, we're changing the battery, but it seems it's yeah, it's, it's a little bit complicated. Uh, yeah, it is, but to be honest, when you look inside it, there's not a lot. You've got a motherboard, a battery, and a and speaker housing. So, you know, end of the day, it can't really go that wrong. I suppose. I, I think it's just that most uh, Apple fanboys and, and Apple fans love their iPads and iPhones and the, the idea of taking it apart isn't like, uh, for example, a PC, you know, um, no, people who work with PCs. It's just more finicky, basically. Okay. All I'm going to do here is just peel off this sticker, okay, because I want to obviously remove the speaker housing. So that's, you've got the wire that you've just disconnected there, okay. And all I'm going to do is peel that out of the way so that's free. And then we've got another one here, so we're going to lift that out, okay, a little plug, I can, it's very tiny, so I don't really want to hurt it, because we've only got very small, very small wires going into it. Tiny okay. as in delicate, possible yeah. breaking Damage. the wire? That's why I use the tweezers, because, you, because they're so finicky, you're not over stressing anything with them, so... Okay. okay, and all I'm going to do is peel back the sticker again to release that, and then the speaker housing. Just put that to one side for a minute. Stick it back down, don't you? Just stick that there, you know where it goes. Now this should just sort of ease out, yeah? There's your speakers, okay? Let me just put them out of the way. No damage to them. Okay, so right. Turn them over just to get a better look at things. This is the speakers. Oh, interesting. Okay, at the moment, none of it's been really difficult. It's just slow and just take your time and don't be afraid to do it, really. Okay, okay. now we're going to move the motherboard out of the way. So, we've got, as you can see, you've got one more, one more little ribbon cable here, and we've got the similar sort of flaps as what we had for this. Okay, when we first initially started taking the screen off, and all it is is a little latch that you lift forward, okay, and then you can just ease the, the ribbon cable out, okay. So in many ways it's like a PC chassis where if you're going to remove the CPU, yeah. you would remove the latch as well? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. So it's, you know, it's not difficult. Now the motherboard itself is held on by two screws, and again it's not ridiculous amount and all we're going to do Let me is take, take this one out over right. there and uh... okay. so we're just winding that out and it's a little bit more obviously because it's a T3 they are small so just take your time and there's another one just here okay okay I'm just going to have that out go down this level so that people can see this a little bit better okay okay we'll put that one there no, the motherboard is free. That's I'm it? Just gonna that's it. I'm going to leave that clip in. I'll just move it out of the way because it's not in the way now. It's not going to affect her. And all you've got to do now is with this, this tray here, it's actually stuck down on the outside across here. There's no more bolts, as you can see. Okay, there's, there's nothing there. Everything is screwed into it from this face. Sorry, okay. what you're holding in your hand is the replacement battery itself, yeah, right? The, the battery and pack. The tray. In the tray, okay. Yeah. Some people, you can just buy the batteries, but SW sell the actual trays and everything. And it, to be honest, for the cost of a tray, if you've got a problem with your, your signals there for the actual batteries, then uh, you might as well pay an extra like, one dollar yeah, for yeah. the tray, you know. In terms of terminals, the battery terminals, you might yeah. as well get the tray. Yeah, without a shadow. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take that sticker off because I'm going to need that in a minute. Okay. Let's just get it off my finger. So that's there. Okay. I need my spatula again. I can tell you now this is glued down beyond belief. It is ridiculously stuck down. 
So, although it might look easy now, when I done it earlier, it took me about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah, easily. It was like... Because you had to be slow and you had to be gentle. Yeah, because I was almost like unsticking it, if you like. Because, of course, we're dealing with a uh, $400 or $500, $500 US dollar product here. Yeah, you don't want to be too aggressive with it. So there is only stuff down from this point on. Okay. So you didn't need to uh, bring any type of heating gun to it or a no, low temperature no. warming no, tool? No, just persevered with it. You could do actually. To be honest, it wouldn't hurt it too much. Okay. That's off. That is stripped down pretty much to the maximum. There's nothing here that you can't do yourself and there's nothing you can't replace. Okay, oh. that's all you got. So there's the new one. We're going to put the new one on. That will hold in place with the glue that's already there. Okay, we're going to replace these little clips. Let's move them out of our way. Okay, and literally all we're going to do now is reverse the process. Okay, and let's put that back through there. Put that back through there. Are you threading something or? Are yeah, you it's a, when we took it's a little plug that goes on to your um, onto your charging port. Okay. I see. Okay. Yeah. And then what you'll find is this will line up just with the two centre screws that you bolt the ha the the plate back onto. Okay. So there's no chance of. Uh, you won't get it in the wrong place. Right. Okay. Good, okay. Good. So we can put that down now. We can then. Pick up the motherboard, put that straight back on. There's no need to add adhesive again. No, I wouldn't. I think you just give yourself trouble, really. A mess that you don't need because everything's going to screw back into place and hold itself anyway, so there's not a big need to replace it. As okay. soon as, I mean, you can see that this is going to hold down the front of it. There's obviously screws that go into there from the um, speakers unit so that's going to hold the back end down, the motherboard's going to hold the front end down and then it's going to be held down the middle by your charging board so I wouldn't bother sticking it back down at all. Okay? It's pretty amazing that uh, something so magical you it's produce. It's so simple <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I've just seen something that could know you want to lift up that ribbon cable, the one that's very small, okay, and just make sure you don't trap it or you'll be backtracking again. What would have happened if you had uh, not caught that mistake? Not a great deal, to be honest. Okay. Um, let's give it that screw. I had two screws. Okay. Well, this happens to me a lot. Maybe I drop them. This is one thing I will say with doing this. Well, I mean, it just shows the people at home that <laughs> this is real. It's not something that we've staged. It's not something we're making up. And, you know, when people fix things, they drop screws. Uh, you have it, then? Yeah. Okay, cool. Most of our tools are magnetic, so they sort of locate for you. They hold the screw for you. Okay. I'm just going to screw that down. Make sure you don't cross-thread anything. What I mean by that is... Go and screw it in when it's not in line. Right. You, you just end up with severe problems, okay? So that's that. And that's there's that. no chance of over tightening or anything like that. No, you, you know when they've gone down. They don't need to be ultra tight because they weren't in the first place, so. Okay. Okay, we do need to find out the screw. Because some devices, it seems like uh, at the factory, they must have uh, used some robot to screw it on so tight it's impossible, and then you find yourself stripping the. Uh, but not, not the case here, right? No, no, they're just held into place. They have got, if you look, I'll show you, if you look, you can't really see it, I suppose, on the camera, okay, but they've I'll got a little to. blue tinge on it. And okay. what that is, is that's called Loctite. And it just holds it, it's like a glue. Okay. It sits around the thread and holds it in position. But you don't need it. I think it's more, you know, what they like to do, rather than what's necessary. You can see, I haven't done that up tight. All I've done is nipped it. It's not being funny. There's yeah. clearance between the, the panel and whatnot, so you, <coughs> you don't need to go overboard. 
Now I, I think that people can see you didn't over tighten it. The veins on your arms did not appear or anything no. like that. And, no, uh, that's right. So now I'm just going to plug this little one back in before I forget. It's very finicky and very difficult for you guys to see what I'm doing. But once that's in place, you just flick the latch back down. Oh, this is the locking mechanism. Yeah. For the, uh, okay. the motherboard. So that's back into place. And just check that again. I think I want to make sure that's right in there. Yeah, that's in there. Okay. So we've got the um, that little socket's back in place. The motherboard's bolted back down. The battery's been changed. We Speaker. need to get the speakers back into place. So none of it's really hard. You've just got to set yourself the amount of time you need to do it, really. And I can assure you it's, it's not as fast as this when you do it on your own for the first time. Uh, just to give people at, at home realistic expectations, um, with the tools, with some patience, total time for project, what are they looking at? I would say an hour and a half. Okay, so nice. Uh, get yourself some wine, some good music in the background, yeah. and uh, make it a weekend project. Yeah, none of it's difficult. Just make sure back into place. Okay, that looks pretty good. You know that's going to sit down there and go on to that. Two screws. Oh. Like I said, most of the tools, most of your screwdrivers and that sort of thing are magnetic anyway, so they're going to hold the screws for you. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of blinding them. Okay. I think it's worth it to note that you're not really being very uh, delicate with it or very... Um... No, it's not, you know, it's something... Because most of it's plastic, okay. no, it's going to be, you know... What I'm doing now is I'm just pushing it all in line, okay? Because they do pull out. Obviously, you're never going to put your new one back in millimetre to millimetre. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what you do is you just sort of push it about. There's clearings, basically, around it Okay. you've got to work with. So I'm just going to make sure that is in line. So that's all of the bulking back down. Speaker's done. Speaker's back into place, so we can start with the charging port again. As you can see, it, it hasn't taken that much time, but then I've done it before. So this is about the third time I've had it apart. I've got a good idea on what I'm doing now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's we plug this one back on, I think, while we still remember it. Uh, now, while you're doing that, can yeah. you uh, maybe mention is that there's really not that many videos out there that show this type of cutting edge stuff that you're doing. I mean, props to you, Neil. Uh, you know, around the office, you certainly are our ninja, but um, not many people are doing this, and you'd think that more would, because given, you know, the, the popular, I guess, the belief that usually batteries die after 10 or 11 months, and, you know. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people have wrote into us and asked us about this sort of thing, and asked us why, people don't do it. And there's no real answer to it, to be honest, because it's not that difficult. And, I mean, you can see it's not difficult, it's just you've got to have a little bit of patience, basically, and a little bit of self-confidence to do it. Um, I don't know why a lot of companies don't do it, really, because if you're selling a product, you should understand how, or what the product does, and how to use it. Yes. And obviously, if you're selling it, then you should be able to show your customers how to use it and how to fix it. There's no good selling something saying so we don't have to fix it, but there's the parts. <laughs> yes, the which a lot of people do. Obviously, but that's not really the answer, is it? So, at SW Box, we're just trying to obviously show you guys, the customers, how to do this. All I'm doing is using the stickers. To be honest, it's, you don't have to, it's just, it, can't, it came with stickers to hold the, the wire into place, so I'm going to put them back, basically. Okay. And once that's done, it doesn't like us particularly need it because they, they get held into place anyway. But because once you put the uh, the screen on top, yeah, it won't jiggle or move or it won't slip out. Uh, you know, we're dealing with a form factor that's that's very thin. So yeah, well, all I'm doing now, sorry, in my is I'm just plugging these back on. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
these were the one of the first two wires that we took off. Okay, so they just plug on there. I know they're small and difficult for you guys to see. So since there's two of them, and this is the charging apparatus, this yeah. is the positive and negative terminal that you're putting. No, back no, in no. What is no, this? one is for the battery. Mm -hmm. It comes from the battery, and this one is your speakers. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. And we're just gonna put. Where did that little clip go? There we go. I'm not entirely sure it's a hundred percent necessary, but it was there, so it can go back. <laughs> you know, maybe it's, it stops interference or something like that. I know it's not easy to put back on because I had this earlier when I first stripped it down today. There we go. It's in place. Now we're just going to turn the charging port back over. Make sure we can get the wires out. Oh right. man, you make it look real easy, Neil. I don't know if I could do this, but uh... I don't think it's that hard. I'll put that centre one in first, I think. Coming around. Once you get them started, it's not always best to tighten them right up in case the others don't line up. It's right. best to leave, leave them a little bit loose and then go back to them. Like changing a tire. Yeah, pretty much. You don't want to uh, over tighten one. No, and then you can't get the others in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sorry to get in your way here, up all in your face. It's just no uh, I think our viewers at home really want to yeah, see just... and experience everything that you're doing because you know they love their iPods and probably if you're watching this video, something's wrong with your uh, sorry your iPad. Something's wrong with it, and you want it to get better. Well, none of it's unfixable from what I've seen. You know, and literally most of the spares you can get yourself, if you've got a problem with it not charging, it can only be one or two things. Nine times out of ten it's a battery. Uh, it can be the charging port. So, literally you can see if it's a charging port, it's one of the first things that are going to come off anyway. So, it's worth having a look, you know, and changing that before you change a battery. So, while you're doing that, is it true that, uh, you know, your last video taking apart the iPhone 4 was really... Uh, I guess received viral status, a lot of views, and uh, I think some people are even calling you the iPhone 4 doctor. Is, is there? Is that true? I don't know about that, but um, yeah, we got some good reviews over it. We stripped one down to make it white, and then we made the middle plate and tray gold. Um, so you're basically tricking out iPhone 4s here. You can, you're yeah, pimping, it's you're not, pimping your phone. It's phones. a little bit more finicky to be honest. This is much easier to work on. It's just obviously the initial side of the, the screen. We'll, we'll do a video on changing one of them, I think, because I haven't done one before, so we'll have a look at that. I think over the next couple of days, once we've got this one online, and we'll uh -huh. see what we can do with a screen, see how difficult that is. Oh, really? Really? You're, the next video that you're planning is changing the screen? Yeah, maybe the LCD or just the touch screen on the front. Uh, we'll have a look. We'll take on a part two happens. Right, we had, like I said, I did make some clips earlier, so we'll, I'll show you how to do a couple of them. They're not hard, because no doubt I'll be taking it apart again tomorrow to change the screen, so I'm not going to replace them all today. But mm -hmm. literally, all we're going to do is take that out. Looking at this one stuck down. Brilliant one to pick, obviously. Just lift into. It's all they're dialed into place actually. So I don't understand if it's screwed in and you've removed the screws, then what's it's still? It's got two little dowels. What that means it's got two little plastic nipples. Uh, plastic that, nipples. Just hmm. sort of hold it. That's vulgar. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't suggesting anything really? of the sort. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Tell you what, it might be better to give it a tap. Yeah, I thought so. 
Nice. You don't, you've got two extra holes in there. It's hard to see. Okay? But literally that is just so that you've got two nipples and it holds it into place before you bolt it down. Okay? okay. Um, let's, get, let's get one out so we can see that. Literally they run all the way around. I'm not going to bother changing them all because I'll only break more when I take it apart tomorrow do you another movie but you know when you've done your repairs it's worth replacing them so just to remind everyone at home it is impossible to open it without breaking them right well i mean for me it was the first time i took one apart today and i've broke about four so four or five and the cost is so little that it's two dollars and i'm just it's not worth concerning about is it really right you know in fairness, it will go back together. It just won't, if you haven't got them on there, I dare say it won't be as watertight as what it was. So my advice is, once you've done your repairs, put it back together, okay? In terms of percentage of completion right now, how far, uh, I guess the, the worst is over, right? I mean, you've, you've accomplished repairs, what you wanted yeah. to do. All you're gonna do is reverse the, the process and put it all back together. Mm -hmm. See, literally, that's how you change one of them clips if it has break. So, it's not the end of the world if you do break them. They're quite cheap to do. No, no, it's not. Actually, I don't consider myself a technical person, but you know, having shown us how easy it is, I, I feel confident myself. Right, all we're going to do again, what we need to do is start from where we, well, basically, because we're reversing the process, all I'm going to do is start with this. Okay, just lean that there. We're going to put this one on first because that's the third one that we took off, if you recall, at the start of the movie. And that goes into there. See, look, the latch is so easy. It's literally a simple little plug. Which you do have to take your time and do, obviously, because I'm making it look hard. Once you've got it in line. It's because we have fat fingers. I mean, someone with... Delicate hands. Yeah. Get a lady to do this bit. That's the best plan. Yeah. But once that's there. But they also say that most Apple fanboys don't have girlfriends. So uh, what 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 would they do then? I mean, uh, moms. Yeah, ask some moms to help out. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good point. Good point. It could have been other suggestions made. Ex yes. No, and I wasn't going there. I'm no, not... no, no. I noticed that earlier. <laughs> exactly. All right. So now, all I'm gonna do. So you can stick that back down. That sits in that little channel there. Okay. Now this is the finicky part, and it's going to be difficult for you to see. And all I'm going to do is put the two little ones that we struggled with in the beginning back on. Let's clip back in. This has got to go over. Uh, okay. Now hold on one second. I'm going to yeah. go around. I don't know how much you're going to see, to be honest. But we've already put that one back on, and this one just needs to slide back home, like so. You can see when it's at home, I'm just going to use my fingers to push the latches down and lock that into place. That's got the ribbon cable nicely, that's still down. We'll just check the other one, a little gold one that we put back on before, which is right in the centre so it's difficult to see. But it is in place, I can see that, and now what I'm going to do... So how many of these clips are we talking about uh, that you are actually putting back into place? Three. Basically, all three sockets to go back in. Oh, it's three, okay, fine. It's not going to be that hard. And all we're going to do is, because not all of the clips that snap, okay, most, there's a line of plastic ones on the front end, okay, and they don't break. So you haven't got to replace them, and it's always best to push them in first. Because if, you know, with the metal ones that sit underneath the lip, all you want to do is push them in a little bit because you force them out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And just pull, push it right there. Oh, I, I just heard some... That's okay, that's healthy, right? That's just the clips going back into the lip. Okay. Um, they're metal ones, okay? I thought you had snapped the screen or something like that, but no, right? Yeah, we'll just turn it on to make sure. I don't think there's any battery to it. Oh, there's a little. Let's turn it back Oh, we've done that there we are then. Oh, wow, congratulations. And we've got a new battery in there. Okay. You are a sensei, my friend. So, if you need anything, you need some help, come to SW Box, and I'm sure you'll find whatever you need. SW Box? What's the URL for that? Oh, that's upside down. You got it upside down. Okay, and uh, well, do you happen to have the logo handy that people could see? Yeah, awesome. just 
just go to www.swbox.com and you'll find everything that you need. Thanks okay. a lot. Thanks a lot, Neil. Um, cheers, Michael. Thanks for your help. Enjoy, guys.